um, when we look at cloud ops, it's very much about enabling autonomous operations for an intelligent cloud. Companies are looking at cloud as a very dynamic environment. What they are ultimately trying to get to is to have a lot of optimized control cloud-based environment where, um, where the governance covers data management, but it also covers self-regulated infrastructure, better planning and op um, operations, as well as transitioning that skill. So change management and all those capabilities are very important to run that intelligent cloud environment. So there are four aspects to autonomous operations. It, it starts with monitoring the environment, getting visibility into your cloud environment. It's, it's very much the first step. Sometimes when we talk to C-suite executives, um, there's very little understanding on how much of their um, applications are actually in the cloud. So it, it, there's a lot of misjudgment. Companies think that when even you take things like container environments, companies or CIOs think that maybe 20% of their estate is uh, running on containers today, but when they actually do an assessment, it's well over 50%. And a lot of that is also um, production environments. So the first thing is very much monitoring that cloud environment, because without monitoring, without understanding, it's very difficult to manage. And then it leads to benchmarking your environment, and then you execute, you, you, you monitor, you create those benchmark requirements or best practices, and then you work towards implementing and executing on those, and then scaling it to operate um, at a large scale. And then that cycle continues, because once you operate, cloud is a very dynamic world, there are newer resources coming in, there are newer um, personas coming in, so you, you, you keep that as a continuous loop. You continue to monitor, you continue to revise your benchmarking and execution strategies, and you continue to um, operate and optimize. So we look at cloud ops as being extremely essential for cloud success in this new wave of cloud adoption. And FinOps within that is an essential component. Um, so so cloud, if you look at cloud adoption, it is a layered approach. It is a nuanced approach. Previously, organizations were focused only on migration. Um, but today you have this cloud adoption strategy where companies are very much moving beyond cloud first to a workload first approach. These are my applications. I need to make sure uh, that it meets the performance, security, and cost requirements. And that's why it lends very well itself to a particular type of environment or infrastructure. And that's why I'm going to put it in. So they take a very um, uh, workload-centric approach when it comes to cloud adoption. So cloud adoption strategy is changing a lot today, and it's becoming a lot more nuanced. And there are multiple layers to it as well. So companies are now taking a broader approach where um, the C-suite is trying to collaborate with many different stakeholders to think about cloud governance early on at the um, strategy stage. They're thinking about what our risks are, what is our risk appetite to adopt cloud, and translating those risks into business policies and IT policies, and then enforcing those policies and monitoring them. So cloud governance is very much around security, data management, and also um, cost management. So governance um, is across the board. And operations is very much putting that into practice, putting those governance capabilities and ensuring that the um, cloud environment is extremely resilient. So you need to think about the business continuity, disaster recovery um, and availability capabilities, but also make sure that there is um, enough provisions to have visibility and continuous monitoring, um, which, which this idea of observability, like making everything observable is becoming very important for organizations. And, and then you can identify um, uh, the, the functions and the processes that need to be automated and standardized and uh, to deliver that consistent end user experience. 